Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Inzbrookson and this is Daily Rambles. And for once, we're doing stuff in daylight. <laughs> and I'm using natural light, so sorry about all the lights and all this stuff. So anyway, today we're doing a movie and we're doing Iron Man 2. And we're doing um, that now. <laughs> so let's start. So we'll start off in Moscow. Um, Moscow. Moscow, Moscow. How do you pronounce it? Let me know down there. And so, um, we cut to this guy named Ivan, whose dad is dying, and he gets really bitter, and he's like actually really a smart person, and he wants to create a suit like Iron Man, so he does that. Then we go to six months later, or, or, or he starts to create the suit. Then we have go to six months later, where Iron Man is at Stark Expo, which he used to do, um, which his dad used to do way back in the day. And it's a big production, and he's super full of himself, naming all the compliments that he's done, and how there's no war, we're in the longest era of peace ever because of him. And um, then they show an old um, Stark Expo um, commercial, I mean, not commercial, but kind of commercial, it's like an ad, that anyway that his dad was in, that um, cr him creating the Expo. And then we have a Stanley camo, uh, cameo, and then a, re a reporter goes, goes up to him and basically serves him. So he got served, so he's got to go to a Senate hearing, and um, Hammer is there, who's part of Hammer Tech, who is a douchebag. Certified douchebag. <laughs> and um, Rhodes is also there, and the Senate tells Rhodes to basically read out of context. So basically, he was reading um, the memo, the report that he uh, wrote, but he did out of context. And then um, people are trying to replicate it, and the Senate's like wants him to turn over the suit and for the army to have the suit. So what Tony does is he hacks into the TV, um, the White House TVs, and hacks the network and shows them what exactly the other countries are doing. And he says they are like not even close, maybe five to ten years, they'll have maybe something. And they even sh then he even puts Hammer Tech on blast. I show them their failed experiment as well. And then a Senate guy says, basically, F you, but he actually says the actual F word on TV. And it's a whole debacle. And then, um, we, so he leaves the hearing and he goes back and he's working on the suit. And basically, um, his suit is depleting his core and it's killing him with like some type of poisoning. And so he has him put these little things into his um, chest piece. To prevent him from dying. And then Pepper gets pissed about the painting, donation, and work stuff. And Tony just comes out and says, you've run it. You've been doing the CEO job. I'm going to sign it over to you. So he makes her the CEO. And then we cut to a scene where Tony is boxing with Happy. And then we have Black Widow intro. And she's like the new assistant for um, Stark industries. So Tony challenges her and um, gets her and Happy and she kicks Happy's ass no problem within like 10 seconds. And so um, they hire her and then they go off to Monaco and then Hammer is also there and um, Christy the reporter from the first um, Iron Man is also there is interviewing him for Vanity Fair. And then she kind of jumps on to Tony's bandwagon and starts talking to him and just kind of pushes off Hammer to the side. So uh, Tony schools him and then um, then Tony is driving a race car. He just literally just gets in there and drives. And Ivan is also there and interrupts the race and then um, literally has like a whip, basically in the style of the Iron Man suit, but it's not really into it's like a it's like um, a whip of the same technology and literally cuts the car in half. And then Happy hits Ivan with his car and gives him the suit and the case, which has the suit in it. So he was able to suit up. Then Iron Man takes him down. And then Ivan gets arrested. So Tony talks to him and Ivan says he comes from a family that Tony comes up comes from a family of thieves 
And then we have a backlash happening, and then Pepper's concerned about Tony. And then Hammer breaks Ivan out of jail and talks to him and if he would do it if he gets his bird. He had a he had, he has a bird that he really, really likes. And then there's more backlash happening, and so Tony does research on Ivan, and then uh, Roy talks to Tony, and Tony is getting worse with his disease that's happening. Then Tony talks to Black Widow about his birthday party, because that's happening. And so Tony gets drunk at his birthday party in Iron Man suit, and they're going crazy. He's literally, like, shooting up, like, watermelons and shooting it with his, um, suit, which is kind of irresponsible. And, um, Rose stops him from acting the fool, and then he literally takes another suit and shuts him down and stops him, and then takes the suit and leaves. And then he um, arrives at, then Rose arrives at the base, and then uh, Tony is hung over at a donut shop. He's literally in the huge donut sign hole, just eating a donut, and then you have a Nick Fury's intro, and this says, Sir, get down from there. And so he talks to him, then Black Widow um, heals him, and then uh, with some type of injection. And then Hammer got the wrong bird, and Ivan is not happy about it. Then Hammer gets pissed at Ivan, and then, uh, because he's literally destroying his um, prototypes, because they don't have pilots in them, and so he's literally, um, like, ripping off the heads, and, like, million, it's like a million and a half dollar tech, and he's not happy about it. Then Rose is starting to regret his his decision on taking the suit, and then Fury talks to Tony, and it turns out um, the original Mr. Stark actually found his shield, and then uh, Coulson uh, has to babysit him, has to babysit Tony. And then Hammer weaponizes the suit um, at the base, since you know since Stark, Stark Industries no longer does weapon contracts, they uh, are doing through Hammer Tech, and so Hammer Tech is outfitting the suit of Rhodes at the base. And they take all of it. They, he gets an entire demonstration of all the weapons, and they say, uh, we'll take all of it. And then Tony goes through the, uh, goes through rough stuff. No, then Tony goes through stuff. I can't read my own handwriting. And, uh, watching the film of his dad, and it gives him an idea. And then he literally drives to get strawberries, and takes it to Pepper. And it doesn't go well, because Pepper is allergic to strawberries. And then he leaves with the model exhibit, and then he rediscovers a new element thanks to the um, video of watching his dad. So um, he's starting to create it, and then Phil drops in and tells him goodbye, and then he literally did it. He created a new element that also helps him with this chess piece, and so he's doing a lot better. And then um, Hammer rests up Ivan, and then Ivan calls Tony. And then there's a hammer presentation at the Stark Expo. Basically, uh, the reason why I even called is like, you better get your ass over here because I'm about to mess stuff up. Then uh, hammer. Uh, th then during the hammer presentation, Iron Man interrupts. Then Ivan took over Rhodes' suits and the drones, and they're all after Iron Man. So um, Black Widow got info, and Black Widow is going to um, Hammer Industries with Happy. And you have the most epic fight scenes ever with that place. I gotta say in the shadows. <laughs> That's weird. That's a Batman reference. Anyway, the vet, she had super epic fight scenes. I was like, holy crap, this is amazing. So then uh, Tony got rid of a lot of drones through um, ducking and weaving and going through all pla uh, different places that the drones can't go through. So, um... Then Black Widow was able to reboot Rhodes' suit, and then you have the cinematography of Cherry Blossoms falling as as they're waiting for battle to start, which was actually, I loved that. And so, um, Rhodes' new suit is called War Machine, it says War Machine and Iron Man versus the drones. Then Hammer gets arrested, 
And then Ivan, Arise and His Suit. Then it's Ivan versus um, War Machine in Iron Man. And they literally, what they did was they did the same thing that happened during the birthday party. Basically, they held both of their hands up at the same time and blasted at the same time to create a, like a supernova type effect that basically uh, offs Ivan. And then the drones are self-destructing. And then Tony gets to Pepper in time and rescues everybody. And then Fury talks to Tony about the Avengers initiative. And then uh, and then the um, stupid ass um, senator gave him a medal of honor. And he pricked his skin. <laughs> and that was the end of the video. I thought it was a really good movie. I mean, that was the end of the movie. I thought it was a really, really good movie. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I've seen this probably about three or four times. Like maybe five or six times. Anyway, I've seen it a bunch of times. I enjoyed it. I love like, the um, the balance of everything because you have good comedy, action, and just overall awesomeness in the movie. I really liked it. I'll give this A+. Plus. Marvel is all, pretty much always does a really good job. Like, a really good job. So anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Um, well, first I, I like to say I like the, the cinematography, I like the dynamics between all the characters. I thought overall it was just a great movie. So anyway, now that's going to do it for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below what you think, and then subscribe for more stuff. So I do TV shows, movies, and music. So if you want to suggest anything, just let me know down in the comment section down below, and I'll check it out, and I'll see y'all later. Bye, everybody.